ليلي أجمع مدعي لتبكي دموعك يا أمي عن دربي لا لن تثنيني أمام طريقي قد وضحى والقلب يسير به فرحا حرب وجهاد متقد ودمك في العزة قد نضحى this is the commander, this is the conqueror, this is Khalid bin Walid radiallahu an. Why? Because come the battle of Muta, the Muslims are 3,000, the enemy is 200,000. Picture this in your mind and you will come to a reality. The army, the Muslims are 3,000. The enemy is 200,000. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Zayd bin Haritha, radiallahu an, he has a flag with him, dashing on the battlefield. The enemy see him, they charge towards him, they overpower him, they strike him with a severe strike and he drops to the ground. When the Muslims saw, their leader has dropped. When the Muslims saw, their commander has dropped. When the Muslims saw that the general has dropped, did they lose hope? No. Why? Because they understood in the promise of Allah. They understood that Allah says that do not think those who are slain in the path of Allah as dead. But they're alive and Allah sustains them. They understood that the messenger sallallahu alayhi wasallam said that Jannah is under the shade of the sword. Without any hesitation, Allahu Akbar, Ja'far radiallahu an, Allahu Akbar, he takes the flag, dashing on the battlefield. The enemies see him. The enemies 200,000. The Muslims are now under 3,000. Dashing on the battlefield. The enemies see him. They charge towards him. They overpower him. They strike him with a severe strike and off comes his right arm. He takes the flag with the left. The enemies see him. They charge towards him. They strike him with a severe strike and off comes his left arm. He hugs the flag. The flag must not drop. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. This is why you call a companion. This is why you call a soldier of Allah. He holds the flag. He hugs the flag. The flag must not drop. His right arm, there is no right arm. There is no left arm. He's hugging the flag. The enemy see him. The enemy is 200,000. The Muslims are under 3,000. They charge towards him. They see him vulnerable. They see him bleeding. They see him struggling. They charge towards him. They overpower him. They strike him with a severe strike and he drops to the ground. In another narration, the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Allah the Almighty has replaced his arms with wings and is roaming around in Jannah with the angels. When the Muslims saw that their leader has dropped, when the Muslims saw their commander has dropped, when the Muslims saw that their general has dropped, did they lose hope? No. Why? Because Allah says that do not think those who are slain in the path of Allah as dead, but they're alive and Allah sustains them. They understood that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Jannah is under the shade of the sword. Without any hesitation, Abdullah bin Rawaha radiallahu an, he takes the flag, dashing on the battlefield. The enemy is 200,000. The Muslims are under 3,000. They charge towards him. They overpower him. They strike him with a severe strike and he drops to the ground. When the Muslims saw that their first commander has dropped, when the Muslims saw that the second commander has dropped, when the Muslims saw that the third commander has dropped, they have no commander, they have no leader, they have no general. What run through their mind? This is what run through their mind. Why? Because Allah says that do not think those who are slain in the path of Allah as dead, but they're alive and Allah sustains them. They understood that the Messenger Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that Jannah is under the shade of the sword. Without any hesitation, Zayd bin Arqama radiallahu an, he takes the flag, confusion on the battlefield. Who is to be the new commander? Who is to be the new leader? Who is to be the new general? Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. Allah placed in his heart. He looks towards Khalid bin Walid and he gives the flag to Khalid bin Walid radiallahu an. 
Now comes the commander. Now comes the conqueror. Now comes the ruler. Now comes the general. Now comes the warrior. Now comes the undefeated fighter. Allahu Akbar. He rearranges the whole army, dashing on the battlefield. The army is 200,000. The Muslims are under 3,000. Allahu Akbar. Dashing towards the enemy. The enemy seem thinking, you know what? We have dealt with the first commander. We have dealt with the second commander. We have dealt with the third commander. Let's attack this man. But what did they know about Khalid bin Walid? Why? Because this guy is a sword from the swords of Allah. He takes the first sword, dashing towards the battlefield. The enemy is charging towards him. Anything that comes in his way, he smashes. He takes the first sword. He strikes, it breaks. He takes the second sword, dashing towards them. The enemy is fighting him. He strikes with the second sword and the second sword breaks. He takes the third sword, dashing towards the enemy. Anything that comes in his way, he's smashing. He's breaking anything that comes in his way. And the third sword breaks. He takes the fourth sword, dashing towards the enemy. The enemy charging towards him. He strikes and the fourth sword breaks. He takes the fifth sword. He strikes, it breaks. He takes the sixth sword. He strikes, it breaks. He takes the seventh sword. He strikes, it breaks. Breaks. He takes the eighth sword. He strikes. It breaks. He takes the ninth sword. He strikes. It breaks into the enemy run and the Muslims retreat from that day. Rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam gave him that title. Saifun min siyufillah. The sword from the swords of Allah Azza wa Jalla. This is Khalid bin Walid radiallahu anhu.